To understand the process of induction better, let us take up an activity of charging two spheres by induction with equal and opposite charges without touching them to any charge object. Such thing we call as charging by induction. For this we will require two things. First, we will require a charged rod and next thing we will require it is two metal spheres with insulating stands with insulating stands before starting the activity we should confirm that uh, the charges are the spheres are initially uncharged the spheres should be initially uncharged we will complete the activity in four steps so in the first step the step one place the two spheres two metal spheres in contact with each other place the two metal spheres in contact with each other let me call sphere on the left side to be sphere a and sphere on the right side to be sphere b in the second step bring the charged rod and for this experiment let me take the negatively charged plastic rod which was rubbed with cat's fur so it got negative charge bring that rod negatively charged rod closer to the two spheres and when i bring this rod closer to these two spheres induction takes place and as explained in the video about how induction takes place you can easily tell that on the due to the negative charge on the plastic rod the electrons on these spheres will be repelled from this rod and they will start accumulating on the right side of the sphere b due to repulsion from the electrons or the negative charge on the plastic rod and as charge cannot move out or move inside the two spheres charge is balanced so the left side of sphere a will have an excess of positive charge because negative charge has moved towards the right side of sphere b so left side of sphere a will have an excess of positive charge so after the step 2 we have this condition positive charge on the left side of sphere a and negative charge accumulated on the right side of sphere b and how you may ask what amount of charges will be accumulated or separated on the two spheres this answer you can find in the video on how induction takes place that explains that the amount of charges uh, are determined by the force of attraction and uh, due to the rod and force of repulsion among the charges uh, due to the charges already present now for this in the step 3 which is the most important step and this here is the trick to all the process of charging by induction without touching the rod to the spheres in this step we will keep the plastic rod negatively charged plastic rod close to the spheres and then we will carefully separate the two spheres we will keep the plastic rod closer to the spheres and sep then separate the two spheres this is sphere A with positive charge and this is sphere B which is slightly separated from the sphere A and they still hold their charges because rod is still closer to them and the charges are bound due to this plastic charge plastic rod 
now we can move away this plastic rod and we can separate the in the final step but we can we can move away the plastic rod and we can separate the two spheres also and they still hold their charges sphere a sphere b sphere a and now the charges the spheres have been moved far apart their charges redistribute and uniformly over the spheres so sphere a has positive charge and sphere b has negatively char negative charge uniformly distributed over it and we can check the existence of charges by using an electroscope which you can see in the video about electroscope and how to use it to detect charges and to detect or to confirm whether these spheres are uh, oppositely charged what you can do you can bring a what you can do is you can bring a freely suspended light charged object it can be charged positively or negatively it is your choice and if you bring this light charged object freely hanging closer to the spheres it will be attracted towards one sphere and will be repelled from the other sphere which confirms that <coughs> the two spheres uh, have opposite charges and the activity for you you can perform the same process same activity uh, and this time use a positively charged positively charged which rod positively charged glass rod which you can get by rubbing the glass rod with a silk cloth and repeat this activity and see for yourself and derive first and then check for yourself what are the charges on the